Okay guys, this is a tutorial on how to remove the new uh, new sticker that they put into uh, Facebook, which looks freaking ugly, and uh, this is how to remove it in both uh, Google Chrome and in Firefox, and i uh, show you both ways. The first way is going to be in Google Chrome, if you have Google Chrome, and I'm going to put in the, uh, the page to where you can uh, get the links on how to get the extensions, and add-on, and technically digital.com and then I'll put that in the description so first of all let me just do Chrome uh, in Chrome it's really easy you just from the page I'm gonna give you, you just go down here it says download you go to Facebook new sticker remover for Chrome you click on it and I just sure that I saw the new sticker thing it's right here on this side okay let me go back Okay, just loading right now. Okay, and then you just go to uh, add to Chrome from the Chrome Web Store and install it. Okay, now it's installing right now. And we're say goodbye to this over here and it's going to be gone. Okay, it's installed. It says added to Chrome. So you just go to Facebook again and then it disappeared. See, it's completely gone. So I don't. I'll get all the annoying uh, news there anymore. Okay, so let me go back to. Uh, we're going to do the um, Firefox version right now. Let me open up Firefox. Okay, this is Firefox right here. And see, I have the news ticker thing up here. So let me go to the technically digital site. And this one, you had to do two things install two things. So the first thing is install a uh, stylish for Firefox right here. Let's go to that. And let's see if it loads quick enough. Uh, okay, add to Firefox. And we'll see if it does this install now and we're gonna restart Firefox let me close on Chrome I don't need it right now okay so this is why I use Chrome Firefox 6 a shitload of time to load okay no I don't want to use it as my default browser Okay, this is stylish. Should have added it already. I don't know why I did. Let me see. Hmm. It's weird. Well, it should add it, and then it should say, uh, it, another uh, tab should open up and say, uh, you know, welcome to stylish. And then to add the uh, the remover, you just go to the third link right here for uh, Firefox only. It'll take you to the um, the ticker remover site. And right here it should say install. Install it, and you install it, and it should be gone. Look, it is right here. Uh, I don't know if it installed automatically when I did it, but it works, so it's gone. And for Android, I know a lot of people, I, especially me, I have Android. It sucks. It's terrible. It, um, the only way for Android is to downgrade it. And in my site right here, the uh, the Android Tribe dot Webs dot com slash downloads dot htm, or you can just put in the Android Tribe dot Webs dot com and just go to downloads and there's two right here you can pick whichever one I prefer the 1.6.4 then you just download the APK and uh, install it uh, this works for you know I do it on Opera because I have Opera Mini uh, I tried the browser but it didn't really want to work what the other side you can try is um, apktop.com and I'll put that in the description as well too uh, so you can download the Android version of it and right here you just put in Facebook
and you search for it. There's a lot of uh, APKs in here, for, you know, games and apps and stuff. And the recent one that looks terrible for Facebook for Android is 1.7.1. You don't want that shit. You want 1.6.4. Uh, I haven't tried 1.7.0, I don't know if it works or not, but this one works right here. And you can do it from your phone. Uh, just go to aptop.com. And then you go down to the bottom. And it should say uh, download Facebook for Android or something like that, APK. And it's all safe, I've done it already, so it works. And the stories thing doesn't pop up, it's just recent updates. Because I know on, on Facebook, when I updated it, I got, like, updates from, like, two days ago or, you know, five hours ago when I was, you know, at the very top. So, okay, that's about it. If you have any questions, just uh, inbox me or anything like that.